New Meridian's a dangerous city. Even for me. Especially for me. I used to be a cop. And I always tried to do the right thing. But I got one thing wrong. And it just about cost me my life. You see, I thought the police were supposed to catch the bad guys. It doesn't work like that in New Meridian. My squad was on the take from the Medici Mafia. You can guess what happened next. They left me for dead. They thought I was gone. Turns out that I'm full of surprises. These days, I walk a different beat. The Skullgirls. They play by a whole different set of rules, and they'll keep on coming until we put an end to the source of their power. The Skull Heart. That's my job. If I can do that, we don't have to worry. For a while. To find the Skull Heart, I gotta track the Skullgirl. To track the Skull Girl, I gotta go where she'll be. Turns out this one has it in for the Medici. This should be fun. Time to check out the River King Casino. A Medici joint lit up like a Christmas tree with Theonite readings. If it's not the Skull Girl, I don't know what it is. Hey, you! Big guy in the coat! Hold it! I can tell you're a pro. And I don't mean at gambling. What are you doing here? Thought I'd try my luck. Maybe catch a show. Well, too bad. The show caught you. I have a feeling there ain't just poker chips in those pockets. Open your coat. That won't be necessary. I've seen what I need to see. Turns out this just ain't my scene. Why don't you get back to entertaining your adoring patrons with your acrobatics? I'll see myself to the door. I'm not stupid, buddy. I don't know what you think you're up to, but I know guys like you. And if a guy like you doesn't work for us, well, he needs a damn good reason to be here. Get it? Girl, you don't know what you're asking for. Gentlemen, it's showtime! There was a time when I cared about wasting the Medicis, but y'all moved down a few notches in my priorities. Nowadays, I'm more worried about wasting my time. Since the Skull Girl didn't stick around, it looks like this was a setup. Sorry, Missy, but I've got somewhere else I've gotta be. You watch your step from now on. Showed up sooner than I expected, you old copycat. Who are you supposed to be? There's only one big band. You ain't fooling nobody. Your very existence is a symbol of humanity's arrogance. The parts of you that can still be considered alive are on borrowed time. And that time is over. Even cloaked in your form, my superiority will be clear. If you think you're scaring me, 
then you really don't know a damn thing about me. Let me teach you something. Copy my style, but you can't fake soul. The next time we fight, my power will not be so limited. Somebody got in here and trashed the place. And while they were doing it, somebody else kept me out. Figures. It wasn't me they wanted. It was the doc. Damn, my night just got a whole hell of a lot worse. Of course, soon enough, theirs will too, when I catch up with them. They trashed this place good. They knew what to hit and they knew how hard. They've been in a lab like this one before. And these scalpels, they ain't the docks. And they sure as hell ain't what you'd find down at Numeri in general either. That gives me some ideas. Time to find the Lab 8 survivors before somebody else does. That Skullgirl's got my blood on the boil! Come on, boys, we're off! It's murder time! We're returning to Lab 8 to pick up the pieces, Peacock. That's our priority. I'm with Ilium. This fight isn't over, and we need to get our hands on whatever might help. Not so fast. Aw oh, man, not the blowhard. Scram, beat it, get out of here, you big mook. Take it easy, Peacock. Stop and think. Thinking ain't my game, Brassafrass. My job is clobbering skullgirls. How's about you take care of the kitties while I exit stage left? Big talk, but you ain't ready to walk that talk. We'll track her down and take her out. Together. Oh, Saxie ain't gonna let you go. Clean his clock. Don't clown me, Peacock. I do not fool around. Too bad, Big Bird. All I do is fool around. I'm all there is of the most real. Cameras rolling and action! You Herself killed. If she can't even take me out, 
No way she's ready to face off against a Skull Girl. And if I can't stop her, Dr. Avian's work goes down the drain. Ain't no way I'm gonna allow that. Especially not now. Sorry, but I've gotta go after her. Don't worry about us. You take care of Peacock. We'll head back to the lab. The doc didn't make it out. So now I've got to track down Peacock, the Skull Girl, and his killer. I'd say I was earning my pension tonight, but somehow I don't think Lab 8 offers a retirement plan. I like to think we offer other benefits. Ain't that right? Later, wife in. Be careful, Ben. Come back to us in one piece. What is it about tonight? I can't swing a dead me without hitting an alley full of weirdos. And looky here, a Medici Tin Man out for a stroll. Right next to a body of water conveniently placed for dumping a sorry corpse, too. Good thing this one looks like he'll sink. It's time to get some revenge for the Fishbone Gang. You're messing with the wrong man, lady. We'll see about that. Who will our star be tonight? Action! And hold it. This is my old partner. Now he tells me. If you wouldn't run off on your own. Sorry, Ben. She's with me. A little flaky, but she gets the job done in the end. She's helping me do some recon. You used to cuff him, not cuddle. She's helping me with a case, Ben. I need all the help I can get. Things are crazy these days, though you don't need me to tell you that. You can say that again. The Skullgirl got some help that knows a bit too much about the ASG operation. The lab got tossed. And Avian's dead. Ashley, I was looking for you. Things are going to hell around here, but I'll spare you the song and dance. It sounds like you've got much bigger problems, my friend. I'm looking for somebody who uses heavy-duty scalpels. Someone who knows their way around a lab, too. And if it's who I think it is, there ain't an aspirin big enough to dent my headaches tonight. Say no more. Get on with your search, big man. If you want my advice, head downtown. There's some shady goings on that smell like Skullgirl. And don't worry about me, all right? I'm no rookie. I can handle one dismembered small timer. Just don't let her out of your sight. And if you get him killed, lady, I'll be back to separate your head from your shoulders. Permanently. Oh, officer, I'm as innocent as a kitten. Do I look stupid? Well... Can it? What in the hell was that? Skullgirl has revealed herself, and her attention is fixed elsewhere. She may have destroyed Lab 8, but she now has found a more fitting target for her wrath. Join me. I want to see New Meridian cleaned up, but not like this. Damn! This is the perfect opportunity. While her attention is fixed on keeping that tower aloft, she is vulnerable. Must strike immediately and decisively. You will engage the Skull Girl with Painwheel. The Skull Girl will not be able to retaliate, and should be no match for a coordinated assault from two ASG units. No dice. Do you know how many people will die if we do it your way and she drops the tower? 
We've got her in our sights now. It's only a matter of time before we take her down. We can do it without the collateral damage. That is of no consequence. The only thing that matters is destroying her before her power further awakens. You know, if I couldn't see your big damn brain, I'd be asking myself if you even had one. This is your response after you cost us avian? The only miscalculation I've made is in attempting to work with another soft-hearted fool from Lab 8. Avian, at least, served the cause by creating weapons to battle the Skullgirls, even if those weapons have obvious flaws. Mine are not so weak. Painwheel, it falls to you. Go now, attack the Skullgirl! Nope, I don't think so. If we must go through you, then that is what we will do. Painwheel, destroy this defective tool, and do it quickly. You must pursue the Skullgirl before we lose our chance. Ordering me! Do it. Now! such as this one easily. I saw to that, but I can sense your resistance, Pain Wheel. I had thought you would be the perfect vessel, but, sadly, you yet require... refinement. You wasted my efforts. Return to Lab Zero immediately, for reprogramming. No! I will expect you shortly. Obey my command or suffer the consequences. I will tolerate no further disappointment. You don't have to listen to him, girl. Who are you? I'm just another anti-Skullgirl soldier. The difference is nobody tells me what to do. And if you let us help you, it could be the same for you. While that knucklehead was running his mouth, I called a friend, Leduc. He'll be here soon, and he'll take you somewhere safe. They've done some terrible things to her. You want me to take her back to Lab 8's crew? Yep. Ilium will know what to do. What are you going to do? Me? I've got to track down the other one before she gets herself killed. And now I know where she'll be. Another Lab 8 loser. Makes three for one today. First, that fool avian. So Peacock is here. Thanks. More like was. You're a bit late, I'm afraid. Maria's made short work of her, as Double and I will of you. I see how it is. You knocked off the dock while your shifty pal Double, nice name there, real clever, kept me busy. You on my terms, not yours. A nurse and a nun. You ever read your own job descriptions? I'll buy you a paper so you can check the classifieds. It's cheap and you might learn something. The only one who's going to learn a lesson is you. You'll feel a little sting, and then you won't feel anything at all. Think so? I'm not so sure. You don't seem like much without your squad. The Last Hope has a lot to answer for. Where are they? Gone. 
though I keep their mementos with me. I can schedule an appointment if you want to meet them. In fact, I have an opening right now. Mementos? How sweet. Since it looks like you turned traitor in exchange for your life, that's when you hooked up with your churchy friend, right? I saw an opportunity and I took it. We all run out of luck one day, like you did all those years ago. Like you did just now. And you will never trouble another soul. I sure hope Peacock isn't dead. I'd whoop you either way, but I'll enjoy it more if I'm not distracted by rage. You mean Patricia? No, I did not kill her. I could not. But for the sake of destroying the ones who abused us, I was forced to deal with her. And now you have to deal with me! Don't you mean us, Big Leg? Peacock? The one and only! Trisha, you intend to battle me again? That first go-round was just a warm-up, old pal. Now that I got my backup in, it's time to jam. You both want the Medicis to pay. Why then must you fight me? The Medicis are run-of-the-mill street trash. But you, there's no bigger threat than a Skullgirl on the loose. Nothing personal. But these days I have just one job, to stop your heart from beating. Turns out we got hired by the same employer. He ain't too picky, but what can you do? Business is booming. Why, you ask? It's Skullgirl season! Once, at the orphanage, you tried to save me. But I won't hold back this time. That's why I gotta do this, Marie. You're losing control! Then come, if you dare.
ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my greatest hit. Every time you destroy this vessel, another will appear. There is no purpose to your actions. I shall always return. So what? Sometimes you gotta be taught your limitations the hard way. The good news is that you don't have to face reality alone. The truth is, you never stop learning. I got a refresher today, too. Painwheel and Peacock, and others like them, need somebody to keep them on track. Might as well be me, right? I'm not dumb enough to think this is a happy ending. Ain't no such thing. The Nun, the nurse and the skull girl ain't the only shadows falling on New Meridian. We're gonna need those girls if we don't want to lose the last of the light. Seeing the skull girl trash my city and kill my comrades? Taking her down wasn't for revenge, but it felt good just the same. This city and me, we've been through a lot. New Meridian, it's not what it used to be, but neither am I. Yo, Bandcamp! Nah, I don't want to steal the spotlight from you. We wouldn't even have to change the title. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. 